<clears throat> okay. Everyone can see. All right, I've got some tea here and I'm going to make a simple but whatever colorful painting for Women's History Month. I'm sad I didn't do anything ahead of time. So this is my last ditch effort. Hey, Tina Cole Campbell, thanks for joining me. <clears throat> Hi, Christina. Oh, there's people jumping on. How fun is this? OK, so I'm kind of thinking. <laughs> If you don't know me, I love pink. So I'm thinking pink floralish stuff and then maybe like some feminine stuff in the middle. It'll be fun. So I'm really starting from the beginning because I don't have anything on my paint palette yet. So I don't know how long this will be, but I'm hoping not to take forever. So we'll see. I just picked up some fun new paints too that I'm excited about. I've got some fun colors. I don't know if I'll do them all, but hi, Crystal, Purple Pixie. Hello. I know. I It's very last minute. I literally just decided this like five minutes ago. But that's okay. All right. What do I need? <clears throat> Oh, bad idea. This is a color I got on sale at Michael's by Art Minds, and it is called Sea Glass. I think it's pretty. And I think I'm not even going to put that in my palette because I think I'm going to make the whole background this color. I'm just using a canvas board. I didn't feel like using an actual canvas. I don't really know what the decision making was behind that, but uh, here we are. <laughs> and in thinking about that, I don't actually know how I'm gonna hang this. If you know how to hang can canvas boards, let me know. Because they don't come with anything to hang them on the back. I'm right next to a window, so I apologize if you guys hear traffic here and there. Okay. <clears throat> Background is good. Well, for now, I'm going to add flowers. It's really sheer. Is it supposed to be sheer? Is that why it's sea glass? Because it's like thin? Doesn't tell me. That's okay. I like it. It's like a really, really light mint green. Nine humans. And I'm just here out of nowhere. Oh, hi, mom. Hola, mamita. Hey, Sandy. Thanks for joining, guys. Thank you, Angela. Can you put it in a frame to hang your canvas? I can put it in a frame. That is technically, yes, an option. I'm going to wait to see how it turns out to see. Sometimes I'm weird about frames. You know, like you have to find the right frame to fit the right thing. So I'm feeling kind of funky dunky about it. But that is a good thought. Now, where are my regular paints? Because I need some nice, thick white. Okay. I don't know where my good white is, but I've got this. Are you gonna beat the kitten up? <laughs> oh yeah, she's thick. Maybe too thick, she might be old. Okay. 
white. I know I want some pink. Oh, there's a seal. Ten humans. This is so exciting. Ten humans and not having a clue that anyone knew I was going to go on live, including myself. That's so exciting. <gasps> Hi, Jamie. Okay. Um, I need green. I hope this is interesting for people. 12 humans. This is amazing. Thanks, Jamie. I appreciate your constant encouragement for me to paint. I am going to make these flowers kind of uh, loose. They're not going to be anything fancy or specific. So don't, uh, don't expect a Monet happening right now. And I'm going wet into wet which means I'm using wet paint on wet paint. And right now I'm just kind of making some random leafy type shapes um, just to get more into the background. And I want this to have a lot of um, layers to it. I'd love to hear from any of you if you're interested in painting at all or what you've made. I know that Jamie paints, which is cool. Anyone else paint out there? Where's the cocktail, says Lucia. Uh, today I'm drinking tea. <clears throat> this is a mocktail not just kidding i i mixed green tea and hibiscus raspberry tea and then i have some like honey citron ginger stuff heidi loves to paint that's cool heidi what do you like to paint sandy likes to paint too now these are a little bit light i'm gonna see if i have a darker green and if not, I will make one. Scratch that. I'll just make one. I don't have the patience to look for that. So to make a deeper green, I'm just mixing in some like burgundy color in with my green. Red and green are complementary colors. So when you mix them, <clears throat> they essentially turn brownish black. But if you mix them in the right proportions, it just makes a deeper version of the other color. Like if you ever want the perfect burgundy, all you have to do is take red and just add a teeny, teeny, teeny tiny bit of uh, green to it and it turns out beautifully. <clears throat> so I'm making, <clears throat> excuse me, a darker green, almost like a camo green or something with uh, with some burgundy because that was within arm's reach. <clears throat> oh, Sarah loves to paint and draw. Congratulations on a thousand subscribers, Sarah. Scenery, owls, fireflies. Ooh, that's fun. I don't know what I like to paint. I get that question a lot. And for me, I think it's more about like what I'm in the mood to paint. I don't know if I'm liking the dark green because I'll go over with light green after it. We'll be fine. We'll survive. <clears throat> It's not bad, actually. The thing is that I need it to dry. Have faith, guys. I know it looks crazy right now, but it'll look great soon. Just all about the layers. I'm noticing this sea glass paint is super thin, like it's dripping off the top, and I wonder if that's why we're I'm getting this. Would love to paint, but I have no coordination or sense of painting. I did do good painting my pumpkin shapes. Just takes practice. You know what, though? I don't think it's about... Um, my big thing is... 
I don't care if people are good at painting. I think it's about having fun and enjoying yourself. However, that being said, some people are very particular and feel as though they don't have fun unless they're doing well. Um, so it's different for everybody, I guess. But I think as long as you have fun, that's what matters. A heat tool. I have one. I, I suppose I could use it. I meant to draw out a picture ahead of time and I didn't. Drawing and painting at the same time. No, make, makes no sense. What's your craft style? Are you asking me or someone else? Wow. I love these. Okay, I gotta leave. There's something that's gonna go in the middle, so I gotta let it chill. Yeah, I got one for Christmas, I think, Jamie. Hey, girl, love to watch your DOIs. Thanks, Diane. 15 humans, and no one knew it was going to go live. This is amazing. This is the wonderful part about being spontaneous. Um, to me, I don't know if I have a crafting style or painting style. I've just always made whatever I want to make. <laughs> um... I just really love color. That's about it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Really, though. <laughs> I joked once, like, nobody should let me be an interior designer because I have no idea. I just don't have a style. I just make a bunch of stuff. <sighs> 15 humans and one feline i love that my feline's here too maybe i can turn the camera so you can see him if this falls just forgive me there he is ignore all that boxy mess that i you know craft supplies and junk kobe say hi People want to hear from you. I swear, he's like the most active cat, except if you put a camera near him. And then he doesn't. I'm going to snack in some Hershey Kisses and Kool-Aid till dinner. I'm having leftover chicken and veggies. Nice. Yeah, this is the perfect time to grab some popcorn and just hang out. Oh, yeah, hit the thumbs up button, peoples. That'd be great. Eclectic covers everything. Oh, is, are you saying my style is eclectic? Hey, just saw your live. Hi, Kobe. Hey, Megan. Crafty Quinta in the house. <laughs> I love that you guys remember his name. <laughs> okay, we're getting drier. We're getting drier. We're almost there. And I'm going to start making some flowers and then my middle picture here. I don't know what it is. When I learned how to paint flowers in high school, I actually really hated it. Like, I was good at it, but I hated it. And now I find myself painting them whenever I'm in, like, a good mood. I don't know what that's about. Oh, living life with Lon. Hey, girl. <clears throat> Look at all these wonderful humans. This is better than my 1,000 subscriber thing. And that was planned. Wow. Amazing. You guys, I've been so stupid productive today. Like, I have some lazy days, but I had the day off and I was productive. I made 20 cards for kids in foster care for the Cards for Cubs um, initiative through Barely Arts. And then, and I'm doing laundry and I went to the 
post office and I worked out. It's like a magical day. Magical. And now here we are painting. Boston Terrier here, Daisy May. Kitty passed away. Oh, I'm sorry for your kitty, Diane, but hello to your Boston Terrier. <gasps> Somebody left. Come back. Okay. They're probably sick of me doing nothing. I'm going to do something now. Don't you ever wish you could play a little music in the background? Your cards were awesome and what an amazing thing. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Sounds like a good day. It was such a good day. I have some lazy days and today was not one of them. Okay. My <clears throat> brush is a little wet. I don't want you to be wet. Okay, I'm gonna start making some leers. Again, guys, I'm making, for those of you just joined, I'm just making loosey goosey flower shapes. I'm not actually worried about it. This is just a background. We ain't worried. Okay? So don't come for me when these don't look like flowers. Don't come for me at all. Would be preferred. Oh, this actually looks kind of cool. And like a little bit of green seeping in there, but it's just creating more color. <gasps> this is fun. You ever just get excited when you're painting? I worked at a paint and sit place and some people liked that uh, <laughs> women's rights is a mistake. That's a nice YouTube channel. Good luck with your life, sir, or ma'am, or whatever type of being you are. Um, sorry to hear that, but we deserve rights too and that's why I'm here. Good luck with that. It's interesting, you know, people that purposely seek out videos to dislike them. Um, I don't know what I was gonna say. I lost track of my thought. Oh, I was working for a paint and sip place. <clears throat> and I really like to encourage like creative um, expression. And some people really didn't like that. They wanted to look exactly like the painting above, which I get, that's what you're here for. But I always liked creative expression. I was productivity too. We're having gorgeous day in Washington. Ooh, Washington, that sounds fun. Women make me angry. It's so funny to me. Some people are just trolls. <clears throat> Can you imagine thinking women's rights are bad? I can. Just a human looking to live my life. Gotta go feed the pets now, but wanted to drop by and say hi. Can't wait to see the finished product. Thanks, Megan. Oh, someone else is in Washington too. That's cool. I don't know what I'm doing, but I like it. You know that that person had to have purposely seeked out a women's rights video to hate on it. I don't think I understand that part of YouTube is like, who are you? Where did you come from and why do you hate things? But that is life. Some people are haters. It's looking nice. I think it looks nice. Maybe they came to enjoy painting. This is looking decent.
Love that this crafting community on YouTube supports each other that can be competition but still a sense of community. Faux show. This community rocks. Prayers to you. Wait, why are there prayers? I think I missed something. Oh, I highlighted some of the things. I don't even know how to do that. Oh, I highlighted something. Sorry, guys. I don't actually know how to do that. We're getting somewhere. Maybe I should bring you guys closer so you can see it better. Is that better? Uh, Washingtonian. Is that what they're called? Are they called Washingtonians? 20 minutes in. Oh, my God. Get a move on. Okay, 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 okay. This isn't bad, this isn't bad. Now. Oopsies. My laundry machine's going off. You'll have to wait, sir. That's what they're called, Washingtonians. Oh, wow. I learned something new today. My godfather lives in Washington. Wait, that's what we're talking about, right? Yeah. Now let's see. Oh, poop. My phone's in front of me, but I need it. Hmm. I'll have to grab my laptop. BRB. Okay, I don't know where I put my laptop. Um... Okay, we're back. <laughs> I lost four humans in going to get my laptop. I thought I wouldn't notice, but I did. Thank you all. Oh, Kobe, please don't step in the paint. No, 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 no. You step in that. Oh. Good boy. Come on. No one wants to see your butt. Okay. Mm, oh, cool. Purple? Maybe? Or blue? What color do I want? Or black? I think it's purple or blue. Thank you, Christina. Oh my goodness, I'm losing all these peeps. Come back, come back. Kind of a brighter blue than I had hoped. That's not the purpose. Notice after I blocked Hater, I'm losing all these humans. Just kidding. I shouldn't beg people to come back. You know why? Because I didn't even know I was going live. 
All right, this blue doesn't look bad. Although I might have to wait for this to dry a little bit. Uh, uh, uh. I'm still here, just in and out. You good girl. <gasps> 11, I'm losing humans. Kobe cracks me up. I inevitably end up with random kitty prints when I paint. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hi, Carrie! Aww. Sometimes I'm impatient with paintings. That's why I like acrylic paint. It dries really fast. Oil is beautiful, but it takes far too long. <clears throat> okay, here comes the scary part where I have to pretend like I can do this straight. And contact. Ah, I moved. Are we crooked? We're looking a little crooked. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're crooked and that's okay. All right. Happy Women's History Month to you peeps. I live in New Mexico. I live near Santa Fe. I'm happy you're still here, Jamie. Carrie, what advice would you have for, say, Mackenzie, just hypothetically, who wants to go work for Disney in the art area? Oh, um, graphic design, cartoon design, illustration. They don't look for this. They don't look for painterly of as much stuff, but they do like, like graphic and illustration, stuff like that. I have a friend who works at Disney and then does that stuff on the side. But I don't know if she's ever actually collabed with Disney or not to actually work for them. But they do have the Disney College program, which my understanding has nothing to do with college. You basically just work your butt off for Disney. But I've heard lots of great things about it. But it could look good on a resume. That's a great question. For a long time, I wanted, not a long time, but at some point in my life, I thought about how cool it would be to work for Disney, and I essentially am just not qualified to do anything interesting for them. <laughs> I thought about working on their cruises, because I wanted to see the world, and I was like, that'd be cool. But then I hear all sorts of weird things, like they encourage people to like date on cruises and stuff, so they don't get lonely. And I was like, nope. <clears throat> you know, she likes to wear Mickey Mouse shirts all the time. Aww. I haven't been to Disney since I was like 12. But I am hoping to go back soon because I want to go before I'm an old fart and live my best Disney life. <clears throat> it's a joke because he always told me always making shirts yeah it's true I forgot about that
Thanks, Carrie. You're so silly. <clears throat> don't know what to put in the middle. I was going to put that little fist. This is what I'm looking at. <clears throat> but I don't know if I want to smush a little fist in there. I don't know what to do. What do you guys think I should put in the middle? I don't know. I don't know. I have not been to Universal's Wizarding World, but I want to go. Sarah, when they say it's the happiest place on earth, it literally is. Like, you can't go there and not be happy. A flower bud, a tulip. I guess I could make just one big rose to stand out amongst the other ones. No fist. I really like the fist idea. I just don't want to smush it. For me, it's more about space. Let's go together. A uterus. I mean, that's a statement. I think we're just going to make one big flower. Contact. We made contact. And smush in other colors. This is so cool. Thanks for those of you who have been watching this whole time. Mackenzie? Has plans for the DCP program. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh my God, a freshman next year. That's crazy. I've known her since she was two. Well, that's when I met her. I guess I shouldn't say I still know her because I don't really know her anymore. But I think women empowerment art is so cool. And I just could not move on with my life without honoring Women's History Month because I honored Black History Month with the painting. And then I scheduled too many collabs and challenges and now I got stuck. So here we are. Don't worry guys, we're gonna make it stand out more. In all, all in good time. No. Now the question is, I like these chunky areas. I have to think about it for a minute. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. Thank you, Jamie and Crystal. you guys are feeling inspired to paint that's really cool I think I'm gonna add some metallic deliciousness I've got some metallic pink paint I'm gonna add a little bit of that and then I think I'm gonna go around and add a little bit of <clears throat> gold too but I gotta wait for that to dry to do the gold just some metallic little details here just for funsies. Add a little shimmer shimmer.
looking a little blendy. Gotta create a little bit of depth. Can't see it. There's too much of a reflection. Oh, it's looking pretty nice. Is it perfect? No, it doesn't matter. Cooking dinner and watching you. Ooh, what are you making for dinner? Let's all do it and tag Danielle on Instagram. Do what? Oh, start painting and tagging me. Yeah, do it. <gasps> Hi, Tina. You guys. Tina Vogel. I don't know if she posts her paintings on Instagram. I think it's just Facebook. That woman is an incredible artist. I used to work with her at the paint and wine studio and woo, and now she just literally makes a living off paintings. Seriously talented woman right there. It's missing something. Tina, tell me what it's missing. <gasps> Empanadas de pollo. Empanadas are my favorite food. Oh, I just highlighted someone again. I didn't mean to do that. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Is that extreme sheen paint? I love the gold from that line. Yes, it is extreme sheen. Good eye. Empanadas de pollo. I've never made chicken ones, but they're so good. Where are you from that you're making empanadas? How do I make this highlighting go away? I don't know. Okay. Ah, oh, thanks, Tina. <laughs> Open sesame. Thirty-eight minutes. Oh my God, Daniel, get moving. El Salvador. That's so awesome. I would love for you to email your empanadas de pollo recipe because I've only ever made beef with my mom, which are my favorite. I'm gonna be biased because they're my mom's, but um, we're from Chile, and I love them. But I've never made them out of chicken, and I've wanted to. Oh, I'm gonna ruin this brush. I should have used the other one. Oh, R.I.P. Brush. Sorry. I'm going in with some gold leaf paint because it makes everything better. Sorry guys, I'm concentrated. Wow, just wow. If you don't own leaf liquid leaf, you should. Just kidding, it's not for everyone, but I'm obsessed with it lately. It's just so pretty. Can't see it from there very well. How can I make you see this? That's coolish. 
Dominican empanadas. Ooh, I don't know if I've had Dominican. I've had Peruvian, Mexican, Chilean, Argentinian. Loving it. Picking up my son from school, so I got to go, but thanks for the random live. Ooh, thank you for joining me. Okay. And now we're going to add some gold leaf around our big blue feminine symbol. Oh, gosh, this takes a steady hand. Here's a pro tip. You're actually more likely to screw up a smooth line if you do little tiny. I know a lot of people make little tiny strokes or little tiny tick marks, but you're actually more likely to make a wobbly line that way than to just take your time and take it nice and slow and do one nice swoop. So I always get nervous when people are doing that because they think it'll help their drawing when in reality, it doesn't. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You guys are so nice. I'm sad that this... So the bad thing about liquid leaf is I think it's enamel paint. Does anybody know? So your brushes are screwed when you use it. I mean, you can clean it with some nail polish remover, which I do, but then it ends up pretty, like, frayed. Like, this is a gold leaf. You can't really see it, but it's, like, not in great condition. So I'm kind of sad that I just sacrificed this one on accident. I didn't mean to. Oh, it's Plaid brand. You guys, I need to sign up to be a Plaid amb ambassador like so many of these other awesome creators. I haven't done it yet. Thanks, mom. Te quiero también. Am I in the way? Ah! I'm just excited that literally anyone jumped on to this video. That's pretty cool. Make sure you guys like this video. It attracts more humans to my channel. Liquid leaf is just the most magical thing I've ever used. Ever. Wow. Now I, I don't know. I feel like I need to make a ring on the inside, but I'm afraid it's going to touch my flower. It's okay. We're gonna make it work no matter what. Oh, hope I put it on here and you did that. <sighs> they sent brushes. Oh yeah, I do need new brushes. I'm a sucker for buying crappy brushes, which is like not smart because they're not worth it. I just tried using gold leaf sheets on an abstract painting and I had a hard time. I need more practice. I just bought some. I, they haven't arrived in the mail yet, but I want to try using gold leaf sheets too. I just have seen so many pretty things. Thank you, mom. Could also clean it with paint thinner. Yes, I don't own any though. Yeah, it's liquid gold leaf paint, Tina. So it's like a little tiny thing. You can get it on Amazon. However, it is a dollar cheaper if you just go to Hobby Lobby and buy it in person. 
But if you're not lazy and don't want to go to Hobby Lobby or if you don't live near one, you can get it on Amazon. I'm happy to provide a link if anyone wants one. getting a little muddy here in the blue area. Oh, yeah. It's not. You know what? It's okay. Happy mistakes, as our friend Bob might say. Good old Bob Ross. Happy little accidents, that's what he says. My house, house hound has been chewing my brushes. Oh no. Guess you can get an adhesive or try Mod Podge. I tried to make my own because I didn't have any. Interesting. Okay what it's looking like you can see the gold a little bit it is so much prettier in person like the gold you'll just have to trust me i'll post a picture on instagram if i can get a good angle of it i am so late girl don't be sorry i didn't announce it i just went live welcome tyra tina what's your um, website in case people want to see it. Is it tinavogel.com or something? R.I.P. my poor little brush. Wow. I love this. Tip number however many. Don't leave your brushes standing in water too long. It helps, it makes the bottom fray and it makes water get into the glue where it's glued and it'll make them come loose. I left mine in there a while, but when I worked at the studio, that was something that drove me nuts because we would tell people to do that because otherwise it'll dry on your brush, the paint, and then you're screwed, but I guess you're screwed either way. It was kind of a tough situation. I'll try to get, do I have my nail polish here? I do. Feels like it needs a little gold right there, though. Thank you to all you amazing people that seriously have been watching this whole time. Y'all are cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the touch it needed. Let's try to get these out. I gotta redo my nails tonight. I lost two of them. So, not worried. What are we thinking, guys? Do we like it? Happy Women's History Month! <sighs> try to do it through the paper towel because I'm afraid it'll get the top all muddy and weird. But it's kind of hard. There we go. Alicia. <gasps> hey, Tisha. Guys, Alicia's my best friend. Oh, Alicia, you made it. Even though I told literally no one. So thanks for making it anyways. <laughs> ah. Oh, you're welcome, guys. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking this might be the final result. I thought originally about, so in my mind, I had, you know, a bunch of random ideas, like making it obnoxious and glittery, but I think the gold is making the fancy part for me. I think, I think it's okay. Yeah, this poor brush is screwed. Ugh, liquid leaf. Okay, this is what we're looking at. Can I turn this? Will this help? I think that's it, guys. 
Do you think I should add like little gold polka dots in the background or you think that's good? Gracias, Mamita. Thanks, Tina. Thoughts, thoughts? Are we good? Add gold polka dots. Anything else? <gasps> Thanks, Sammy. Oh, man. I wish it wasn't so blurry. Happy Women's History Month to all you amazing, amazing ladies on here. I'm so excited that you're here. <gasps> Hi, Bessie. Thanks, Tisha. No, it's amazing. It's great the way it is. Okay, so people are saying don't add gold polka dots, right? It's good. Guacamole. Let's be extra like guacamole. I, I know, girl. Sammy and I are the same. We like a little extra, extra. Ah, I can't decide. Extra. We got to go extra. Who cares? It's Women's History Month. Okay. My poor laundry machine's still going off. <laughs> Guys, don't worry. It's going to be beautiful no matter what. I'm just going to add a few. I don't know if the back of the brush technique would work on this because liquid leaf paint is so thin. So I'm just trying to do, I mean, let's try it, right? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'll do one down here in case it doesn't work. Yeah, not really. Okay. It's gonna tie in the whole piece now that we have gold leaf everywhere. Yes. I love it. Yes, the extra was needed. I feel like it's like a really bougie piece of wrapping paper. That one's gonna drip. Oop. Don't drip, little friend. Followed Tina. Y'all, for real, Tina's such a wonderful artist. Gold dots, yes. 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 I'm here for gold polka dots. Yes! Thank you all. I mean, I respect all of you who also said not gold polka dots, but your girl loves the shiny stuff. Oops. Do you ever accidentally make a mark and then you're like, no, it's ruined. That happens to me a lot, but lately I'm like, who cares? It looks fine. How do we feel about this? So last bougie wrapping pepper. So when I went live for my 1000, people were saying I should do a live paint with me. So I'll teach you how to make a painting. So I'm going to do that and hopefully figure that out. Um, how's painting with me going? Is this boring? Is this exciting? What are we feeling? Hey, girl, love to watch you paint. Thanks, Rachel. Happy Women's History Month to all you queens. I've decided that my new favorite thing to call people is queens because we deserve to feel like a queen. The queens we are. Sammy, thanks so much for being here. Guys, these polka dots are nowhere near perfect, but do we care? No. It's handmade. Doesn't have to be. Okay, I think this is going to be my last pokey dot. Okay, let me see, let me see. This one needs to be a little bigger. That one's really funky dunky. I think, I think she's complete. I'm enjoying this. Thanks, Sarah. My coffee mug I use every morning says queen. Oh, love that. 
Oh, thanks, Sammy. Hey, Kobe's. I hear his jingly bell. Yeah, Kobe's here, Alicia. He uh, crawled on the table almost onto my paints earlier. <sighs> okay, I think we're done. I'm going to show you again in a second. I don't want to bump anything because I've definitely done that before. Okay, here it is with the polka dots. Again, I'm not really sure how to angle this so that you can see all its glory. Ooh. This is pretty cool, guys. You have to say. I'm actually pretty impressed with how many people joined this video. I'm glad I went the extra mile. Thank you to everyone who voted extra. Thank you to everyone who said anything at all. Super appreciate you too. Daniela, you should sell prints of that. You think so? That'd be pretty cool. I've tried selling prints of stuff in the past and it just doesn't go well for me. But now that I have a following, maybe people will buy stuff. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Sandy. Keeps going in and out of focus. Sorry, guys. I think she's complete. Give me a thumbs up if you guys think this is complete. That's, I think she is. I like her. Very awesome. Thank you, Joan. Oh my gosh, people are suddenly joining again. I feel so bad. I'm almost done. This is my Women's History Month painting. We just went live and did it together. Thank you to everyone who enjoyed it. Oh, here come the thumbs up. Woo woo. Wow, wow, wow. Is there anything better than liquid leaf? As seen on YouTube. <laughs> Facebook Marketplace would be like, who are you? And I'd be like, duh, I'm Danielle Itaya. <clears throat> okay. So something that, what? so when I was in high school and I was in AP art, they wouldn't let us sign our art because when we submitted them to the AP test, <clears throat> they couldn't be biased by reading your signature or whatever autograph I don't know so I've kind of gotten in the habit of that like I never knew where to put my name when when I paint things and I think I'm gonna leave this one as is I just feel like if I add my name it'll take away but I'll know I made it right this is pretty cool maybe I will make prints of this I really like it happy women's history month queens I think that's it any final thoughts, questions, remarks before I hop off and clean up all my junk? I clean up this sad little brush again. What about signing the back? I think I am going to sign the back. Thanks, Sammy. I think that's the plan, Stan. I mean, if I do end up making prints to sell them, then I'll probably make a print of it and then just sign like the white tag board area. I just don't want to take away from the piece itself because I love it so much, but yeah, I'll probably sign the back. On the back also says Joan. <laughs> Bob Ross is smiling. Bob Ross would be like, those aren't roses, girlfriend. I'll show you some roses. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to clean my thing with my pump. This is from Dollar Tree, by the way. It's a little nail polish remover. I've been using it to clean my gold leaf brushes. Nice to see you live. Oh, I missed it. Looking forward to more. Thanks, Tina. I was late to the game, but going to watch it from the beginning. Oh, thanks, Rachel. That's so sweet. Make sure you guys like this video, too. It brings more people to my channel. We're still growing and trying to reach our hours. You made happy roses, girl. Yeah. This is true. Um, all right, guys. I think that's it for me. Thank you so, 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 so much for being here. This was fun. I'll have to do it again soon. And... Um, I'm excited some of you are inspired to go paint and I'll have to figure out a paint night so that I can walk you all through a painting and grab a glass of wine or whatever. So, all right. I think that's it. Bye friends.